Hello, everyone. Hi, I am Lee of the Bible Players, and we have a very special, special video for you today to celebrate the one and only holiday of what's that behind me? Oh, that's right, Passover. Yes, matzah. Yes, and I am joined by a bunch of our Bible player, uh, my coworkers and friends, woot woot, and um, we are going to be playing the escape the plagues puzzle game that is all social justice and Passover themed and we are so excited to get to do that together today. So we do have the co-creators with us, uh, Matthew and Lisa, and we're so honored to have them uh, on, the, on this uh, video with us. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on the game that you created. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Thanks Lee. Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Matthew. <laughs> and we designed Escape the Plates together. We are siblings, so uh, this is the first puzzle game that we designed together. But Matthew is a professional puzzle designer, so he actually does this for a living. Yeah, I make escape rooms and alternate reality games and puzzle hunts and all sorts of uh, aha-filled whimsy for, for people <laughs> all over the world. So what's Escape the Plates, Matthew? It's a social justice Passover puzzle game which you can print out and play at home with a team of two to six players. Um, it brings you through a journey connecting the modern plagues of today with the themes that are so prevalent in the Passover story. And you'll, you'll see a bit more of that uh, as the Bible players play through the first half of the game today. Yeah, so good luck. See you on the other side. <laughs> well, thank you. Um... Yes, we'll see how we do. We've never actually attempted to play a game together before, so we uh, will see how we do. First of all, we want to give credit where credit is due because your game is so beautifully designed um, and the artwork is just fantastic from the get-go. And that artwork was done by Adrian D. Is that correct, Matthew and Lisa? Awesome. Okay, so wanted to give a shout out to that because it is really just amazingly Wonderful. All right, so here we go, Bible players. Without further ado, further ado, we are going to begin this game. Here we are. We've all printed out a copy um, at home, but we're also going to be screen sharing occasionally so that you at home can also follow along um, as we're playing. So before we begin, we have two to six players, we're great. We have scissors because we cut out our pieces in advance because we're fancy and we are ready to go. So we're going to first start by choosing our characters. Meet the characters. And I'm going to share our screen now so that you all can see which characters we want to be. All right, from the get-go, we're gonna go with Andrew first. Andrew? Co-founder of the Bible Players, Andrew, which character would you like to be? Oh, this is a tough one. I loved these characters, the drawings and the descriptions. I'm so excited. I I I would love to be Ellie or Eli um, because I also love climbing trees and I don't do it as much because I could break things and I know too much now, but I love that. So I would love to be, I'm going to call him Eli. I'd love to be Eli. Amazing, amazing. All right. How about Aaron? Would you also co-founder? Would you like to choose your character? I would. Thank you, Lee. I'm gonna go with Sam. 14-year-old Sam. They them loves baking sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread, and I'm gonna miss it in a few days. And I love writing as well. And I'm also uncomfortable with unanswerable questions. Or am I? Is that one? I don't know. Nice. All right. And Philip, our last team member, besides me, I guess. Who will you be? Who will you be? I think it's a it's a dead ringer for for Dusty. I love hugging Shelly. I mean, I, I love hugging in general. Uh, Shelly is my stuffed turtle though, and I love stuffed animals and dance parties. I'm all for a dance party, and I am afraid of asking the wrong questions actually. So this is a perfect role for me okay i think that i am going to have to go with mika for myself then because 
my nickname is actually Monet. Uh, I don't even think any of you know that Bible players. So um, it's been my nickname since it's your chess school. name. <laughs> and it is my chess name. We play yes. chess together. That's right. Um, All right, Queen's Gambit. Let's get back <laughs> to this game. This is the only game that matters. That's true. It's Nobody plays chess game. anymore. Nobody plays chess, right. It's all about puzzles and games. <laughs> I do love chess. Um, all right, so I will be Mika though, because Mika loves landscape painting and helping heal Mother Earth. Yes, to Kuno Lam, right? Repairing the world um, and dedicated to sharing the teaches of her Lakota people, even cooler native. I am super, super excited. Um, all right, so I do believe, and Matthew and Lisa, you can correct me on this, but we do have to, fulfill all of the characters right so we I might want to be wanda too you want to be wanda too okay and not just because my wife just finished watching wandavision and i'm too scared to watch it but also because like wanda i am very excited about learning those of you who know me i love to read whole books occasionally and i just love learning so i relate to wanda so i would love to be wanda as well sweet um anybody else have a a calling for i yeah. think wendy is our only i can I be, be oh no, aaron you're wendy you're you're wendy i want to be wendy like peter pan aaron all right i do i love peter pan and i love practicing fish right <laughs> it says bass she loves uh... but also <laughs> fish the band so really you hit the nail on the head double uh mm -hmm. two points for aaron ding all right, so I'm going to stop that share now. Now that we have our characters, our cast of characters, um, we also, I just wanted to point out that I don't think I scrolled down for you, but all of these characters actually resemble um, or have represent, re represent in some way the four uh, children of the Passover story, um, which is really cool. And I'm very curious and excited to see how that works out in our gameplay. All right. Here we go. Number one, the Passover story. Everybody has their characters, right? All right, I'm going to be the narrator and everyone else, uh, I'll ask you to chime in when your character is speaking. All right, ready? Last summer, Eli, Mika, and Wanda went to creativity camp together where they designed a puzzle adventure in their community as their final project. Wanda invited her siblings, Sam, Wendy, and Dusty, to try it out today before going to Eli's house for the Seder tonight. They all meet in the park to start their journey together. All right. Hey friends, are you ready for your first puzzle? Do I have to? This sounds too hard, I'd rather just stay home. Please, Wendy, I really wanna show you what Mika, Eli, and I made together. Yeah, Wendy, it sounds fun. I've never done something like this before. We were inspired by all the wonder in the world around us when we made these puzzles, and you might be too. It sounds like an adventure, like the story we're going to tell tonight at the Seder. I remember it from last year. Dusty, that's awesome. Then this first puzzle is going to test your memory. All you have to do is put the pieces of the Passover story back in order. After that, Look closely to find the hidden answer. You got this. Oh man, this is gonna be harder, I think, than I was imagining. Fortunately, we have a graduate of JTS Columbia who should know his uh, story of Passover pretty well. Double graduate, undergrad and grad school, Aaron did. Oh, please, so. please, I have my diploma. I lost it. <laughs> All right, so everybody has these strips in, in front of us. Um, do we want to try and do this on our own first and then we can come back and collectively th think it through or do we want to try and do it as we go together? I think teamwork makes the dream work. All Agreed. right. Agreed. All right. Amazing. So. And it's not fun to watch us think. It's fun to watch us be silly and get things wrong. So let's. <laughs> All right. So it's got to, we got to set the scene. So congratulations. You escaped. I don't think that's the beginning. <laughs> Well done, good <laughs> deductive reasoning. That was all Wendy. I can't when take all it. hope seemed lost, a baby boy Moses was born. Ah, right. gotta start with his birth. Oh, I, but before. I would definitely put that to the top or before. All right, 
Imagine you lived in ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. You and your fellow Israelites have dwelled among the Egyptians as honored guests for generations. I think that that might be numero. Yeah. No. Yeah, right. it's setting the scene. Setting the scene. Yeah. Setting the scene. All right. And then the second one is after many years of coexistence, a new ruler came to power. And didn't mm. understand the Israelites. He felt didn't threatened understand. by their strength. So he decided to enslave them and drown all of their newborn sons. Whoa. That's a bit harsh. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a very extreme plan. It's 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 it was always a crazy plan. Um, all right, then my card might come in here. Okay, with the baby Moses being born. Oh Ooh. yeah. Okay, so we want to put mm -hmm. baby Moses as number three. Yeah, in the basket when all hope seemed lost. Who emerges from the dust? Rocky and Bullwinkle. All right. The unknown baby has their own child. That means the next one must be Moses grew up in Pharaoh's palace. It's got to be. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing, mister. And there's a photo of Moses in the 1968 Olympics. Um, okay. <laughs> next. President of Pharaoh, I don't have privileges. People's continued suffering. Years later, Moses explored the land beyond his home and was shocked by what he saw. When Moses encountered a slave master be beating an enslaved Israelite. He struck the oppressor down. Um, the he... image of the bush is the next one because the last thing we had was Moses struck the oppressor down and buried him in the sand. So find your shrubs. Get your shrubs. This one where he fled to Midian? Midian, yes. right? Yeah, Midian, yeah. Modin. Wait, Modine. Modine. That's Hanukkah. Maybe it's the same thing. Became a shepherd. I love sheep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wallace and Gromit. Wait. That was a dog and a dude. Why me? There's sheep in those movies, too. Yeah, yeah, you're on the right track. Yeah. It's the next movie. Why me? Moses Fleet, he didn't think he was fit. Oh, no, never mind. He's not leader all of a sudden. Never mind. I mean, he did say why me a bunch, right, Aaron? No, you're right. Yeah, that's the next one, Phil. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, what was it, Aaron? Like five six... times? Yeah. Five times. Yeah. He was like, we know slow of speech, but also, what do I, who, who do I say sent me? And they won't believe me. And uh, my underwear feels weird. Like, he really he was he got through two. <laughs> two out of five is pretty good, Aaron. That's it. As Meatloaf almost said, two out of five ain't bad. Then... So I, I think the next one is though hope was frail, maybe. That's though right. hope was frail, it's hard to kill. Hard to... Did you I just come that. up with that, Lee? That is beautiful. You should write a movie <laughs> musical. <laughs> I love Prince of Egypt. I... Oh, a rare geez. Stephen Schwartz, right? Yeah, they just did it in London. Let's yep. talk theater, you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> um, well, wait, question. Do we think that Pharaoh became upset by their demands is before hope was frail? Oh. I think it must be. Yes, I think you're right. Hold that song. You edit this so we look like geniuses. <laughs> um. This one, this one's next. So moving them. I think so. The straw, right. I forgot that Pharaoh doubled their workload. Ugh, what wow. a jerk. And then we have the last plague. Yeah, the one that pushes Pharaoh over the edge. Yeah. Yes, after the death of his own son, the last plague. Wait a second. Pushed him over the edge. His bowl of Pharaoh was build up too much at digging he had letter i i see the letter i in this i think it said earlier there's going to be a message when we put all this together god the anticipation it's killing me what all right um wait so wait okay. <laughs> did they arrive at the red sea yet i'm trying did i lose the cop yeah that's next that's next yeah yeah, the Israelites fled the land where they had experienced so much pressure over the years, and then they got to the Red Sea there. Okay. Did take we? City. 
Have we escaped? Congratulations. Read it for us, Aaron. You want to read okay. it for us? Oh boy. Um, T, you tell me if this is right. T A, baby Moses. I don't know what letter that is. T A blank E. Oh my gosh, I didn't even a? see it's this. A. Oh, there's, there's a, a K in there. <laughs> oh, take T A K E, take T H E, the. Oh, oh. I don't know what that men. is. Take the men. No, no, we need the whole community. The whole yeah. khaki law matters, not just the men. Nice. Thank you. Chapter 10, verse 9, Exodus. I don't know. Is this a Y? That's an M, I think. Take oh. the time. Take the, Take the time. The yeah. Time. Mm -hmm. Take the time. The time. Mm. It's uh 725 on the East Coast. I we win. Did. I was the first one. <laughs> I took the time. Took notes. <laughs> 1925 military time. All right. Darn it, Wanda and Eli. How dare you? You've won. I am the smart one. All right. All right. D does that mean this that we nice. can take the time? Does that mean we can move on to the pipeline protest scene? Yeah. Take the time. Sure. I, I would I have a feeling that as Matthew has told me behind scenes, um, there is something called a master puzzle in which our mini puzzles make up to complete said puzzle. Meta puzzle. Meta puzzle. Meta puzzle. My mom went through that. <laughs> oh, Aaron. The kids don't know about that. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a nice and very nice recap of the story, though. It reminds me about, you know, as as we think about this as a social justice story about the social justice elements in Moses' own life, you know, fighting back against slavery, you know, in his in his individual action and then in his collective action, sort of enlisting everyone. It's um, yeah, nice to see a really nice recap in 11 steps. I love it. <laughs> totally. um, all right. We have. Scene two, pipeline protest, ready to go. This Let's is do cool. it. All right, go for it, Philip. I wish I could have danced with Miriam when we when my baby. Beat. I wish I could have danced <laughs> with Miriam when she led that party by the water. I never realized the Passover story was so revolutionary. It's cool that Moses never took no for an answer. I wish I could be part of something that powerful. Well, our next puzzle gives you the chance to take action in protecting our sacred water. See, an oil company wants to expand a giant pipeline to transport the planet's dirtiest fossil fuel. Oh, I love their watches, but not the fuel. As water protectors, indigenous women from my tribe are leading a protest today to stop the pipeline expansion. I had no clue that was happening. It sounds so complicated. How do we fix it? Yeah, that's really scary. What can we do to help? There's no easy fix, but there are lots of things that we can all do. You can start by recognizing the gifts water gives us and by truly listening to the voices of indigenous activists. But it sounds like we're doomed anyways. Why are we even trying? It's not just about you, Wendy. We need to be in solidarity with Mika and her community at the protest today and always. I'm about to start leading some protest chants. Sometimes it's hard to hear the correct words if you're far from the chant leader. So for this puzzle, we wrote down what we heard from three protest chants, but these phrases don't really make sense. Figure out what they actually say and write them on these signs. Ooh. All right. I'm going to share this one. I'm getting it up. Here we go. Can everyone see it clearly? Yes. Yeah. I can see clearly now. Yes. I, I do have a feeling that Aaron's going to be very good at this. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, so we're, we're unscrambling the, the words or all the I letters all make up? All of them. All of them. All of them. It's all messed up. So. I think we're onto but remember their chants, right? So we're we're saying chants at a at like a protest. Um, so yeah, let's see. I so definitely think Moses is written at some somewhere on this first one. Just say. 
Hmm. Well, can't be because there are no, not enough demand. spaces. Hmm. I think the last part is like our demand. Mm. And oh yeah, could it be justice? The first two words, justice, 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 or something. Justice, something is our demand. Maybe um, climate, climate justice is our climate demand. justice is our demand. Climate Does that justice is our demand? That could be right. I think that's right. I think that's right. Can we annotate and cross letters out? Yes. Let me. Let me do that all right let's see oh let me try to annotate okay all right yeah i think yeah climate justice is our demand is that climate justice is our demand so that's the first <laughs> poster okay that's our first one i'm pr I, I feel i feel good about yeah, it we've got it can we ask lisa and matthew if we got it or if we should keep trying no, I don't know what Aaron's no doing. He's, he's graffitiing this poor project. <laughs> no, I'm I'm crossing out the letters of. I know, climate. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Well, while Aaron does that, double checking for us. No, it can't. There's only one C. Together we protect our land. No. Oh. Wow. That's Together good. we protect our land. Definitely number two. Hundred yeah. percent. Well done, Phil. Well done. I think it's. I think it is. Climate justice is our demand. It's not the letters. It's the. It's. It's. Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's close to the word. It's not like the letters. Uh, it's, not. Right. it's not a scramble. It's like not saying, it. yeah. It's like strong a strong gain solidarity. Strong something solidarity. Strong, strong solidarity. We stand. We stand. Strong. Strong in. In solidarity. We stand. Ah. Uh, I thought that was too hard. I'm a genius. Okay, but wait. So we have, so we have the blotches on the signs. We got to take the letters. Uh, those are, and yeah. that is going to give us part of the meta puzzle. P, U, R. Um. So tide is the last one. Turn the tide. Turn the tide. Turn the tide. So take the time. Turn the tide. Right. Mm. Turn the tide. I'm glad it's not roll tide. It's not about Alabama <laughs> football. That would be silly. It's not about the detergent either. Although they are delicious Tide Pods. And if they want to sponsor this game, I'm sure you know. We'll, <laughs> no, probably not. I don't know. Tide. The Tony sea. Tide pods. Well, I think that we have done our fair share oh. i think we've we've done very well actually i i would love to bring back our co-creators to a adjudicate our our team <laughs> to validate as um a puzzle on a scale of a to a plus what would you give us as a group of um should we say it at the same time so we don't influence each other oh my okay ready i, I think so Three, two, one. All a it. half plus. Okay. <laughs> we, got all it, we got an A. We got an all of it a half plus. Multi-lingual. Yeah. Okay, take it. No, that was Amazing. Very <laughs> Excellent solving. You got some puzzle pros on the call. And by got some, I mean all of you are puzzle pros. <laughs> well, you, thank you. you could Eric is very good. A little bit more in that last one, though. Sorry? That's Dusty had that last one from the beginning. Y'all needed to listen to Dusty a little more. I'm telling right. you. I was like, guys, I know what we're doing here. And then it was like, this letter goes here. This letter goes here. <laughs> well, that is honestly, though, is that not perfectly fitting considering Dusty is which of the four children do we think? I, I believe it's the one who hath no capacity to acquire, right? Or something like doesn't that. Doesn't know how to ask or doesn't. Yeah. 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 I got the old Maxwell House Haggadah uh, definition, so <laughs> I need to update mine clearly. The one who doesn't have any decaf in the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. A brilliant marketing plan, though. Just want to say, Maxwell House, if you're listening. You know what else is brilliant? This game! Yes! Um, yes, it is. Fun. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, 
we'd love to, you know, there are a few discussion questions as well um, that we'd love to kind of get everyone's thoughts on, uh, including you, Lisa and, and Matthew, uh, if you'd be willing. So I can pull up the final page that has our, our discussion, discussion uh, questions. And let's see, what do we got? Oh, and just so you know out there, whoever is watching and listening, we did only play two out of the five puzzles. Um, so obviously, if you're interested, please go to escapeplagues.com, if I'm correct, and you can download the PDF yourself. Um, it's only $15, which is really an amazing, amazing price for something that's this engaging and fun. Um, we've just had so much fun doing it. And there are hints at the end of the game if you are not necessarily a puzzle pro like the four of us apparently are. <laughs> um, but either way, I think everyone will have so much fun playing this uh, out this Passover. So I have the discussion questions up now. I'm going to share that screen. And let's... Let's take a look at some of the ones that we are intrigued by um, that we can share with our audience here. Anybody, any questions pop out to anyone in particular? Hmm. They, these are great questions. I mean, number seven jumps out to me. You know, what is the difference between peace and justice? I think, you know, I think a lot of times, um, Justice is about, you know, uh, you know, fighting the good fight and sometimes involves disturbing what is a, you know, a cold piece or a piece that isn't really good and having tough discussions. And I think Passover is a time that reminds us that we have to, you know, take on those tough battles and that sometimes, you know, losing peace in the short term and that for the sake of justice is worth it. It's, I don't know, it's interesting to think about those. I like that question a lot. Hmm question that's that. standing out to me is question nine why approach social justice themes through play and i think uh it's a great question because you know while it's not a a playful material it is something that can be taught to people at a young age and the way to engage a young mind is through play so I think it makes a lot of sense to instill that that sense of you know social justice and the importance of it through those means so that it feels good when they perform that you know so it's like oh it feels good to do social justice and like to be to have a social justice theme in my life because of this fun game that we played but then also growing up you can learn the importance of it more and more daily so i think that's mm -hmm. a that's a cool question. I love that, Phil. Um, yeah, definitely something that I think we are very fortunate, or at least I, I'll say I was very fortunate growing up where I grew up in a very um, heavily Jewish community. I think Jews in particular have um, a really great kind of uh, motivation for education and um, awareness, at least in my community. Um, and I think that that is, is such an, a valuable trait that we can instill upon our uh, future generations and still continue to learn ourselves, absolutely. Um, and I think that that actually ties into my, my question, which is, uh, when do you struggle with asking questions? I think that's a really valuable question for sure, because for me in particular, I feel like um, it can be really daunting to kind of ask the hard questions, especially if you don't feel confident um, that you'll get a positive response. Um, but I think that it's, it's you know, our, our duty and our responsibility to ask those questions so that we can be more informed ourselves and, and really um, do what we can to, to help support and protect uh, those that you know, are, are underserviced by our communities. So underserved. So um, that was the question that really jumped out to me because I do have trouble sometimes uh, asking the, the right questions. Mm. 
I like to, uh, yeah, similar to that. How, do, number four, how do you typically ask questions? And I'll be, yeah, honest, I, I'm reluctant to ask questions. Even as a kid, I wouldn't raise my hand in math class when I did not understand what was going on. And that is why I stayed in a low level math class. Uh, but uh, it's, as a, you know, my, like caveman man brain is like, ah, oh, I got this. I don't need to ask for help. When asking for help is a big thing to do. Good English. Asking for help is one of the hardest things I've had to learn to do as an adult. Um, and yeah, I bet other people are also, it's hard for them to ask for help. And that's what this social justice is all about, is helping people. And yeah, asking questions. That's what Passover is all about and Judaism is all about. So I think it's important to think about how we ask questions and yeah, ask questions we don't know the answers to. Hmm. That's, yeah, that's the key right there. <laughs> um, sorry, Amen. what was that? Amen, 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 low main. <laughs> Um, he did. <laughs> well, I think that I can speak for all of us and say that, you know, we had such an amazing time uh, playing this today, having so much fun, um, and also getting to really ask those deep questions, which, you know, are really important to us as, as Bible players, because it's part of why we, you know, Andrew and Aaron, why you started this troupe and um, continue to 10 years later. So um, Lisa and Matthew, I want to thank you so much. I also wanted to direct people, if you're watching this video, you can check out uh, a lot more, uh, many more resources on their website uh, if you want to learn more. I, I, am I correct in saying that? Awesome. Um, and we've just had so much fun having you on. Uh, the first of many, hopefully every Passover, we'll get a new Passover puzzle, um, which would be awesome. Uh, same story, new puzzles, and uh, hopefully we'll be in a better place next year than we are right now. So um, if we continue to do that, I think we'll leave the world better than we found it. Thanks so much again, so, Lisa and Matthew, for making this. Thank you, man. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> it's so fun watching you all play.